rolling on sound, rolling on vision, rolling, rolling, rolling. Hello, welcome back or welcome for the first time to the Fledgecast. This is a podcast about music and Mostly about music, but that's because that's just the box I've put myself in for the last 27 years. Well, potentially not 27 years because, you know, when I was a toddler, or pre-toddler, let's say, I don't think I was thinking all that much about what kind of entertainer or artist I want to be. But this podcast is about music and art and entertainment. Sometimes we're a bit silly. Sometimes we're very serious. My name is Nathan Barry. I am the host of this podcast and I will endeavor to entertain you as much as I can. <laughs> um, what are we going to do today? Well, I I made a plan for last week's one. Not, I mean, a plan is a stretch. I uh, wrote some dot points on a um, like document <laughs> for me to jog my memory of what to talk about. But today I just, we just pressed the button and now we're sitting down and we're here. So I don't really know what we're going to talk about, but I think that's kind of, for me, the fun of this anyways, I am working out what this platform is going to be. I almost had a guest for this one. But we're organizing a party for tonight. Um, and there's just lots of other stuff to do. She's got to finish an essay. I've got to go for a run and work on her music. So, uh, the the time to do this was not factored into our day. I grabbed my water bottle and I put it out of reach, which isn't helpful. So, I'm going to grab that now. Which for you listening, doesn't really matter, but for you who's watching, I just went out of shot for a second. Uh, and I'm sorry about that because what is a shot without me in it? That's what this podcast is about. <laughs> it's about me uh, letting my ego run wild. <laughs> yeah. Why do I have my laptop? Let's just open Ableton. Because um, getting a guest on this podcast is exciting because I think a lot of my enjoyment creatively comes from producing, working with other people, helping them shine. And I feel like in this world that we've just created, uh, there'll be a similar enjoyment where... If when, when there's another person in the room, I can provide some structure for them to play in, you know? So I want to do like little quizzes and shit like that. Um, and take things from outside the pod, bring them in so we can fuck around, you know? And to aid that, to help, I'm going to need to make some stings. I'm definitely going to need to make some stings. Um, I've got a few things that are like on my roadcaster that I made ages ago, um, that laugh track, applause and things where I, I went to YouTube and I went to a bunch of different, uh, concerts for a couple of bands I like, predominantly the 1975 and 21 Pilots. And anytime the crowd was cheering and there wasn't music playing in the background, I uh, stitched them together and made this big, like, minute long applause, which I can use. And then with the laugh track, I made two different laugh tracks a kind of sarcastic one where I ripped audio from Auntie Donna clips and Hamish Nandy clips, where the laughter is fake like it's heightened and a bit silly so i've got that and then i've got a real laugh track where again i ripped from hamish and andy and auntie donna and a few other things um and made a 
real-ish sounding laugh track as well. They made a few other little things for that. But I know I'm going to need more because as my, this, this free form is good. I know I'm going to want to have segments eventually. And within those segments, the editing might be limited, but um, will be limited, sorry. But the segments themselves will need a break. Hamish and Andy have their bell and then the little video game music. Broden has his plethora of stings that Tom has made. Um, They're the main two podcasts I listen to at the moment. Mish and Zach don't really bother. They're kind of, they're more like this where it's just free form. Auntie Donna obviously is just on another level of insane podcasts. It's fucked up. Um, but I, I, I feel like I'm drawing from all of those places to create this, you know? Uh, so let's try and make a little sting just for the sake of it. I'm going to open up. I have opened up Ableton and I am now, maybe I stream this as well. Eventually. Anyway, I've got lots of ideas. Can you tell? That's why this exists. Cause I have just so many ideas. Let's start with um, a drum loop from Splice. I've got so many random little loops that I could use. So that's all right, but it's a bit slow. You're not going to be able to hear this very well. That's kind of, it's kind of transitional. It's more like intro music, I think. But... I feel like I want some kind of build up. I've used this in one a song. Ooh, that's funny. Yeah, okay. That's cool. I like that. We're gonna use that. It's it's kinda really rocky. Yeah. Um, this might be the most cooked podcast of the three so far. Also, two weeks ago, I went for a 10K run. I ran in... This isn't a running podcast, but it's just what I'm focusing on right now for some reason. Um, today, I'm only doing 5Ks, so I won't be as worn out like I was last week. That was fucked. Anyway. Um, now, I would like some kind of do i have any piano samples downloaded oh there's an anime sound yeah that might not vibe but let's give it a go yes absolutely not uh chill fi what is that oh a bass loop i know that one that's not piano you ass Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's try that. Nah. No, I don't vibe. It's, um... That is not... A, eh, this is confusing. I've used a lot of these samples in different songs that I've made in random times. So hearing them, I can hear the what I've added to them. Maybe it's a good idea to get some new stuff. Yeah, I'm going to get some new stuff. I like this drum beat. Um, I'm, I'm just going to get a riser of some sort. Let's open splice. Ah, oh. <laughs> I have to log in and <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Why does it do this? I, I, I don't go on Splice for... Oh, I can't be fucked with this. <laughs> but I don't go on Splice for like a week and then it signs me out. Does this happen to you? Comment below. It's really fucking annoying. Um, and then I don't I don't know where my password... Who, who knows where your passwords are and stuff, you know? Like at least on Google, on the Chrome, just everything's saved or whatever for some people. That makes it easier. A lot of my stuff I just leave signed in. 
I'm going to get hacked now. I hope not. Don't hack me. Um, I have nothing worthy of your hacking. Do do do. Oh, yeah. I am. I like rice. Rice is nice. We eat rice every day because it's so good. Oh, a little bell? <laughs> Let's put that in. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> no. <laughs> take it away, take it away. Um, yeah, this is going to be where this... Oh, that I love that melody. Hang on, listen to this. That is so cute, um, but it's not for this. Honestly, I think like even just these two samples, like that's enough of a thing already. So what I'm gonna do is turn this down. Is this entertaining? Are you entertained? You know what though? Like I said last week, let's just keep it playing because it's kind of vibey. Like I said last week, if you're listening to this or you're watching this, it's probably either you know me and you want to support me. You know me and you want to check in to see how off the rails I've gone. Or I don't think this is the most likely. You're coming back to the start. I said this last week that you're coming back to the start because... There's so much happening, like 20, 30 episodes from now, that you're like, where did this start? This is where. With all that crazy, awesome stuff that you've heard before coming back to listening to this, this is how it started. It's just me sitting on this fucking couch, talking shit, filling the air, singing into the void about how I lack rice. And I love rice. I really do. I don't know about you. Um, let's make a little bass thing. Uh, there's nothing there. Go sounds. Bass. Nah. Doesn't need to be really full on. Ooh, that's weird. Oh, I'm like, it doesn't need to be really full on, but I'm going to use a full on thing. Boo do 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 do, boo do. That's cool. Okay. Oh. So it's in. Okay, it's a bit dark. When you're making stuff, do you have a tendency to lean one way or another? In far as far as like a vibe or a genre, like do you always end up in a kind of similar space? Because when I'm in this world, I do. When I sit at the piano, it's so different. And then when I'm like playing the guitar, ooh, that's weird. It's different again, you know? It's so interesting, like... I guess it's just habit. Um, and trying to break those habits is good. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not gonna use this. <laughs> I feel like, one, it would be nice to have my hand free because I'm holding the uh, microphone in my left hand and trying to just make a song with my right hand, which is fine. <laughs> but but this isn't, this isn't going to happen today. Also, because I've, I've set myself the limitation of like, we do 15 minutes, we fuck off, and we come back and do 15 more minutes. Um, and that is not enough time to make a one-handed song without uh, already being logged into Splice. 
Ah, uh, maybe it is. Who knows? Let's just do some stupid shit for a second. That was very, uh, Pharrell. That four count. That's something that they do. Let's get rid of that. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, so uh, oh, actually, that works. I like it. I'm just sitting here listening, <laughs> not talking. <laughs> That's my again. We're figuring stuff out. Ah, oh, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> just deleting stuff is my favorite thing to do. Oopsie. I am gonna save this. Um, I uh, do la la li la le. Do 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 do. Save it in a new folder. That is FC three sting, and you're gonna hear this in the thing. Um. All right. I'm kind of tired been a fucking big week, man. My whole, uh, my whole outlook, not even outlook is the wrong word because my outlook has shifted on life, but my whole life before my outlook shifted, my whole life trajectory has changed so dramatically this week. It's crazy. So after the break, I'll tell you about that. Um, but before we go, this episode of the Fledgecast was brought to you by June. June. Uh, June released a song. You know about this if you were listening to the podcast, uh, but you probably know about it anyway. June released a song called Free, and it is fucking freeing. <laughs> it's good. And if you've listened to it, give me a thumb up <laughs> and if you haven't go on then go listen to it we had a party for it it was so much fun and it's the reason that i'm sitting here doing this so thank you june thank you for your music keep making things and i'll keep doing things too we'll be back right after these messages <laughs> that was already the message <laughs> anyway okay We'll be back. I gotta go for a run. Sting. So, uh, oh wow, what a good sting. Damn it. <laughs> so I just walked out of my room like this and the dogs went absolutely insane. Um, as probably expected. I have no idea what I said mere moments ago for you. Um, and it's only been like an hour and a half for me. So I don't know how I don't remember, but I don't. This is cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, I hope I finish this after talking to you now. And when I just said sting, the sting plays. What's the time? It's 20 to 11. The rest of my day puts me in good enough stead to be able to do that, I reckon. So wish me luck. You already know. I don't even know yet. That's so cool. Um, what were we doing before the break? We were talking about, well, June, but that was an ad and you only have to put up with one ad per show, <laughs> show rule, because <laughs> I hate that lately on the Hamish Nanny podcast, they're freaking, they have their ad and then Jack comes in and does a sneaky ad. No, stop that, please, actually. Anyway, um... I'll, 
I'll try to be better. I'll give it my best shot. Should I read you the meeting minutes from, from the last Fledge meeting? <laughs> no. Um, some exciting stuff. I just got given a potential roster for festivals next year and at the end of this year as well. Um, mostly at the end of this year, actually. I don't know why I said next year. It's only a couple next year that are on the horizon. But I just put my availability as yes for all of these festivals and it got me thinking about the seasonal nature of outdoor entertainment basically that i've been involved with for freaking years now um and how each year i've been able to make something out of it that it was a bit better than the one before like the learnings are increasing each one and I think the difference between last one and this one is going to be a seasons between last season and this season is going to be so massive because I've been taking so much time during the off season to work on this communication style that we're engaging in right now and hone a bit of a different craft because I've worked behind behind instruments It's not really quite true. I've worked on instruments and recording and that kind of stuff for so long. With this and video recording being a little back burner thing that I've always wanted to do. So now that I've been practicing this so much with certain things that have been released, um, I feel like this festival season is going to be captured in such an interesting meaningful and just fun way um yeah for the first time in like nearly 10 years not quite i won't be it doesn't look like i'm going to be working new year's day so how can i (laughs) work out a way to work new year's day <laughs> that's ultimately the goal because if i'm gonna go if i'm gonna go to a festival and enjoy it i i really feel like i'm gonna enjoy it more if i get to hang out backstage and chat to people so let's um let's aim for that yeah if if you've um if you've been booked for a festival in Australia coming up and you want to hang out in my living room backstage just uh invite me to the festival (laughs) so that I can come hang out backstage that's all um yeah I think (laughs) that's the end of that bit that was specifically for (laughs) fucking Instagram I reckon (laughs) but (laughs) I won't do that again for the rest of the episode. Oh, will I? I'm in control. It's kind of daunting. Fuck, it's only been five minutes since I got back. But the first segment was 17 minutes. It's interesting trying to fill this time um, by myself, which I can, but I don't think it's going to be necessarily entertaining to begin with until I get into a rhythm of it. Why am I analyzing it so much? This Okay, (laughs) that's so good. Okay. We're working things out as we go. I'm going to have to step away for a moment. Not from you, but from the camera so that I can find my water bottle. Yes. Now I have it. Wow. That's a kind of a a revelation for me that I'm not going to be, like probably not going to be working New Year's Day because that's been such a... um, turning point each year i know it's new year's day like it is a big day for everyone but that whole fortnight leading up to it and week after it is just such a challenge for me every year um and so i want to replace that with something that's challenging and fun because working events is challenging and fun but in a different way still in the event space i think we're um throwing a party tonight which is fun just it's a house party so i'm not gonna really tell you about it 
but not right now anyway um because it hasn't happened yet but i just set up some lights and stuff but even just doing that um wow i'm saying i'm a lot that's what something i'm noticing in this episode as well the thing i noticed while hanging those lights is just how much i love creating a space and have always loved that yeah like the physical space that you can build and create zones for people to hang out in and you know what you'd like to go and see when you go to an event or a festival or a party or whatever so to be able to then create oh i love i love when there's like a chill area at a festival where you can go and like cool down and just sit on the floor but then i love a hectic dance floor as well so how can we put both of those things in a house and have a separate area so it's not just those two extremes but like create little different little activations that all different kinds of people can enjoy and there will be like floaters who enjoy all of the things but i i i think that when i want to run when i run events i want to make sure that everyone has a space not just like one type of person so i think like analyzing that by setting up these spaces last night analyzing that on a small scale of a house party is really beneficial and aligns with setting up entire festivals and it's the same thing like putting fairy lights in your bedroom is the same as building a light tower structure to hang hundreds of meters of lights that just create this warmth it's the same thing yeah that's not really a revelation but i just love talking about events so much it's so fun and i think that's another part of what this will ultimately become when i fucking start talking to people (laughs) guests are coming (laughs) i I promise they're not always going to be um around but they will be sometimes what was i saying do you remember that'd be a good thing as well as to have a guest to be able to jog my memory from mere moments ago and this time mere moments for me as well not just you ah finally the sun has come out i love talking about events that's pretty much what i was saying um why am i dressed like this i hope you couldn't see my belly oh it doesn't matter i'm not really talking to you you're a secondary thing why am i dressed like this because well now i am addressing the camera by the oh yeah you don't know how i'm dressed i've really got to think in that mindset as well like i want the focus to be you and then also engage with you every now and then and the separation between the okay but you are the focus right now you listening are the focus you don't know how i'm dressed unless you've looked because you've been so annoyed that I'm not talking to you and that I'm talking to the camera too much that you've gone and looked and you now you do know how I'm dressed. But for those who haven't looked and have st- I'll probably switched off, no one's listening to this, but that's fine. Um, you who, for whatever fucking stupid reason is listening to this, um, don't know what I'm dressed like. I'm dressed like Woody, but I don't have shoes on. And the reason I'm dressed like this I'm not telling you. No, I'm going to a disco. Why would I not tell you? I'm going to a disco and I'm dressing up as Woody. I'm becoming a different kind of person than what I've ever been in my life. No, I don't know. I'm talking completely out of my ass. I'm just trying to fill time just to get used to filling time, which isn't really conducive to creating a f- fun space. All right, so here's, here's some promises. I'm going to lay, lay down some promises. All right. Um, one. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to promise you anything because this is for me right now. Who knows if I'll ever even post this. This is for me to just figure out what this is about and who I want to absorb into it. I like the idea that it's the fledged cast um, and that it's not my name. 
I like the idea that it is hosted by me and it's in a comfy environment. Like we're chilling out in like a comfy space where I'm hosting you listener and I'm hosting whoever sits on the couch with me. It's, it's so basic these things, but like to know them and to define them is really helpful. I think sometimes to have a form, like a formula that you are recreating that then you can break out of. Because if you don't put yourself in a limitation and understand what genre it is or what, um, fucking, I don't know, key it is or blah, 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 all these things and that's in relation to a song, you won't be able to break out beyond that. Do you know what I mean? All right. Well, I'm pretty hungry after going for my run. Sorry, this is not a running podcast, but I'm so, so not, but I'm going to go and make some food and I will speak to you next week, which will be two sleeps before the race. Okay, well, tune in next week to find out what the fuck the race is, and I will see you then. I can't be bothered getting up. Can you stop it?